basically got um, called down by security. So he spent the night in a cell. Hello everyone, how are we all? Hope you're all doing it very well. Welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog. It's the first, is it the first weekend vlog? What was my last one? Yeah, it's the first weekend vlog of 2022. Welcome back. I'm very, very excited about this one, but before we get into what we're doing in this video, I just want to start off by saying the biggest, the, the biggest thank you to each and every one of you who's left such a lovely comment on my last video. The one where it was my first video back in 2022 and I announced the magazine feature for Hello. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it up top. Just, just insane. Like, the, the sheer amount of love from you guys was just, it was magic. Like, I, I got so emotional reading all of your comments and they were so heartfelt. And some of you left just really, really long comments just saying how, just proud, you felt proud. And I cannot tell you how grateful I am to have you all on this journey, it's just, it's magical. I feel like we've really created a really lovely community and I love that you all reply to each other and you're from all over the world. It's just, it's just amazing. So yeah, thank you all so much for that. Like it genuinely, I feel like I've never started a year more positively and yeah, just love, love to you all. And um, so yeah, it's quite a bleak, miserable day <laughs> in London today. Today is Saturday 7th, I wanna say. Uh, Saturday 8th, so it's, you know, we're getting into January. January's going quite quick. So today is going to be an organisational day. I'm very, very in the mood for that because we're going to go to Ikea. I feel like everyone goes to Ikea in January to try and get some sense of organisation for their home. I'm going to take you into my bedroom to show you the plan. I know I spoke about this in uh, the previous video, but I'm really trying to get my bedroom organised and streamlined. So all this week I've been... Um, going through the flat, kind of looking at things that I could um, donate to charity, things that we don't need, things that we've got like, you know, multiple one, multiple things of that we just don't need, that kind of thing. Um, so we're in a really good place, however, my bedroom it needs some addressing. So um, yeah, let's take you in. So those, of, oh hi Maggie. <laughs> so those of you who've been watching for a while, you may remember this unit. So this unit used to be in our hallway. It was our hallway sideboard, very kindly donated by our downstairs neighbor when they moved out. Now, we recently changed the sideboard in the hallway just because this, as beautiful as it was, it kind of wasn't practical. It was quite thin and narrow. The cupboards on the side weren't that practical. So um, I was gonna donate this to charity and I had a charity collection booked for it to be collected last year. And they contacted me and said, um, is it in you know sell sellable condition? Is everything as it was? I was like, well, there is glass missing from the door panels. The guy who we got this from, our dancer's neighbor, had to actually smash the panels to gain access to the cupboards. They said apparently it wasn't gonna be in resellable condition, which is not ideal. Um, I listed it on some local collection sites and no one was really interested in it. So I've just had it here for the best part of the month and <laughs> it's a big unit. It's kind of creeping into the doorway. So every time when I go to bed and evening, I've kind of had to pull it out to close the door. It's, it's just, you know, it's been here and the more I've had it in my bedroom, the more Zara said to me, why don't you just keep it in here and have a bit of a rearrange? So that's the plan. As you can see, it's 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 kind of busy. It's a busy area. So the plan is to keep this as a dresser. So I'm going to use this as storage. So inside, let me show you. It's such a beautiful unit. It's actually such a shame. I've just kept some things in here, like some um, a parcel that's like arrived and not got around to using, some hair products and that kind of thing. However, I think the plan is I'm gonna fill this with um, just bits and bobs that I have in my bedroom. So this is my desk area that I sometimes work at, sometimes don't, and I really thought long and hard about, do I really need a desk? And I've used it quite a lot in January already, and I think it would be a shame to get rid of it. It's, you know, it's, it's fine, it's not perfect, it's kinda of like chipping in places. I've had it for about four years, it's a bit wobbly. <laughs> it survived a couple of house moves, three house moves actually. So the plan is, I'm gonna move this unit into this corner and pop my desk into this corner where my chest of drawers is. This is all of a pile of things that I am listing on eBay. So um, yeah, basically this whole drawer unit is actually gonna go, it's 
kind of coming apart in places. It's not really great. The drawers aren't that deep. Um, so what I'm, I actually upcycled this uh, when I used to live in Brixton actually. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a lovely piece of furniture. Um, I'm gonna donate this because this definitely will sell. But what I'll do is I'll screw off the um, handles. I actually picked these up off of, I think it was eBay or Etsy. So they're like brushed antique handles. So I'm definitely gonna keep these because I think they'll be handy in a future project. So yeah, the drawers are gonna go. And then the contents of the drawers I'm gonna pop into baskets and use on this unit here. So it's quite difficult to explain, but basically this unit, all it houses is a printer. So that printer can go under my desk. So this whole desk area is gonna move. The shelf I'm gonna take off the wall and actually do a nice little gallery wall on top of this unit. I ordered some command strips off of Amazon. Yeah, I've got some artwork. So it's just gonna be a really nice, practical space to get ready. Obviously I've got my full length mirror there. This is very rambly, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the plan. So we're gonna hop in the car, drive to Ikea, have my list, and I'm ready to go. So we made it to Ikea, and first point of call is storage tubs. So these are gonna be very, very handy. They're 125, I think you can get the lids as well for 50p, but I won't need the lids. So I think I'm gonna get four of those, and that should be enough for one part of the unit. In my previous vlog, so I always spotted this. This is the kind of thing I'd love to have in like a kitchen, like almost like a display cabinet style storage unit. I love this with like the brass handles. I think that would replace like a bar cart with lots of like glassware and stuff in it. It's lovely. It's the Lomop. Very nice. So I found the new bedside lamps I'm going for, and this is the called I think it's the Ars Ars Arsted, um, in the brass instead of the silver. So I'm pick up two of these. Um, we nearly got, <laughs> we basically got um, called down by security. So we spent the night in a cell. Honestly, so we went to self-scan because we only had the bag. Um, Zara was scanning and I was putting in the bag. We were walking out because I had a voucher for Ikea, uh, so it was all fine. And the security guard was like, excuse me, excuse me, um, you need to stop. You need to go back and check your items. And we were like, yeah, fine. You're so polite about those things because the whole time she's going through it, I was like, they're there, they're mm. there. I, like, because I, we thought we'd scanned everything because we did and the amount seemed right as yeah well. it was like 80 pounds but then in hindsight maybe that's not right i don't know <laughs> but i think because i got confused because i had a 25 pound voucher so I, I don't know i was processing that anyway um she's like you didn't scan the rug i looked as so i was like you didn't scan the rug so i went oh no i didn't scan the rug i was like oh my the rug God. wasn't in the, the bag the rug was obviously too big i i put the rug next to the scanning area i think because we had so many um like boxes and stuff. Zara's like triggering the boxes to make sure we had enough of those. Um, I was I was utterly convinced we did it right. And she's yeah. like, don't worry, she was really nice to be fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I feel like in those things they can start to be a bit like... Did you mean to steal that yeah. rug? Like, Obviously. oh, you didn't scan the rug, how convenient. Oh my god, I feel like we are gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have to hang our heads in shame next time we go into Ikea. Oh no, we'll, we'll go to the other one. We won't be going. We, we won't will, be coming back. We will be coming back to this one. That's the last you've seen of me. <laughs> so we're back from Ikea. Zara's just popped the kettle on. We're gonna have a cup of tea, have five minutes, and then uh, get cracking on with organising. Got a lot in Ikea. I actually went to Dunelm and Sainsbury's on the way home too, so I thought I'd show you everything we got. So this rug is the exact same rug as the one that we have in the living room. It's like a flat woven rug really really like it so what i'm going to do is swap out the one in my bedroom that's going in zara's bedroom and then this is going to go in my bedroom not actually this one but yeah really affordable really hard wearing and um, the one i currently have is lovely but i don't think it's going to go with the vibe of the unit just what i thought they're always good to have i got some of these um bathroom organizers uh two of these actually these were four pounds each from dunelm and i'm going to adhere them to the tiles in the bathroom but i'll just stick them on not overload them, otherwise I feel like they have a tendency to fall off. Other things like here, nothing too exciting. I've got some of these clear Perspex boxes for storage. A new throw, because mine was absolutely ruined from Maggie. These are the white storage boxes that I was using previously in the bathroom. So I've got two of those, add another three, so that's five. They're really good value actually, they have handles too. They're three pounds each. I got some light bulbs. I'll show you the new um, bedside lamps once they're up too. <laughs> Two pillar candles for the lanterns in the living room. This glass storage jar, which I think I'm gonna use for sugar. That was three pounds actually, really, really nice. A replacement roasting tray with handles because the one we have is just, it's way past its best. We've had it for years and it's just, yeah, it's losing its non-stick. So yeah, I think that was five pounds. Oh, interrupting the Ikea hall with Major cute Maggie moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maggie, darling. Thank you very much. Can I have a kiss? 
Oh. And then, yeah, last slip but not least, these two um, cushion covers. They look black on camera, but they're brown in real life. They're like a brown velvety suede. I actually can't call this. It's just, just so cute. Hi, darling. I've opened up the unit and I've popped these storage boxes in. So we've got four larger boxes on the bottom. So Zara's is the Adobe group for um, like taller products. And then we've double layered these. So I'm going to label those up too. So there's going to be five in there. And then there's a whole separate shelf empty. And this one too. So I've got two helpers. We're here to help. And um, this is the products. Like I said, it does look like a lot, but... <laughs> Usually when a brand sends a release of something to try, they'll send the whole range. Um, so there might only be one product that I really, really like, so I can just donate the rest. So we're gonna sort through it all now. So we've categorized everything into piles. So we've done shave, body, uh, face wash, face masks. This is like eye serums, is body, Cleansers and washes, shampoos, hand lip products, and this is hairstyling. Maggie's got a thing with my label maker that every time I turn the dial, she loves it. Watch. I like this one. I like this one. Oh, wow. Maggie, should we label you? Should we label you? The most beautiful dog in London, just after my mum. Uh. <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. This is all now organised and labelled. It's almost like a little mini inventory of things because it was all in one box. So I just had to dig through it. I forgot what I had. Now I can be like, oh, I've run out of, I don't know, like a body wash to just literally pull it out, grab one, and then pop it back in. Very happy. And I've got a whole spare shelf and a whole drawer free. So a bit of time has passed and um, I have wet hair now. <laughs> we just took Maggie out for her afternoon evening walk and the heavens opened in London. It rained non-stop so I'm very wet. So I'm just gonna quickly dry my hair, crack on with the room, it's coming together. So I just popped the plant I got from Sainsbury's in um, a planter I had. This was from B&Q, we've had it I think like a couple of years, three or four years, I think we bought it when we first moved in. Um, and we never really had a plant to put in it, so I think that looks quite nice, it kind of ties in with the mirror. And um, yeah, this is the unit, it looks so nice. The shelf isn't staying there, so I'm gonna unscrew this and basically just fill in the holes. And I'm gonna do a really nice gallery wall on top. I'll show you the artwork, maybe tomorrow actually in the daylight. Um, but yeah, the shelf is gonna come off the wall. I'm gonna put it back above the desk area. I really do like the mirror above, but it doesn't really serve a purpose there. Um, and the shelf is very practical. So yeah, it's gonna go up on the wall and then we're done. Okay, so I've had a bit of a rearrange, but Zara's ordered pizza in the meantime because we were so hungry. I feel like all we've done today is eat. <laughs> but um, yeah, Zara's all today. Pizza Hut, oh my goodness. Such a treat. So we're gonna eat that, and then I'm gonna crack on with the room again. It feels later than it is. It's only half past five, but we're hungry. Okay, this looks incredible. I'm not gonna lie. Veggie food, Pizza Hut style, the best. And, oh, where is it? <gasps> Their three cheese pizza. It's just amazing. We ordered mac and cheese as well. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Best Saturday ever. Sunday I had full intentions of eating pizza last night and then getting back to organizing my bedroom but um I didn't <laughs> I literally ate the pizza and we just chilled out I felt like it was quite like a, a intense couple of sorting hours and then I just thought you know what 
I'm gonna do the rest in the morning, do like all the styling and soft furnishings and picture frame and stuff when we've got daylight. And I'm glad I did because it's a lovely, bright, blue sky day this morning, so I feel like it'll be nicer to show you guys the end result. So let's get cracking. Okay, so update, both of the lamps are built and they're on the side tables. I absolutely love these. These are probably one of the best IKEA finds. I saw Louise Pentland on um, Instagram actually talk about them, followed Louise for years, love her style. Um, and yeah, these are 19 pounds, which I think is brilliant. I love the kind of like traditional top of them. Obviously they've got the pull cords, you can just easily turn it on and off, you haven't got to reach around the back. I know some lamps now have the like touch base, but I really like, just I think they look really traditional. I'm really enjoying this style of decor. So um, yeah, I think they look lovely. The throw is new as well. This is like a really nice, robust one. Um, so hopefully it won't be too much of an issue when she jumps up. I know a lot of people kind of don't like dogs on their beds, but I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it just looks really nice. The cushion covers are the same as the ones previously. They are IKEA as well. Um, I just love how this has came together. Desk area is came together beautifully. Um, this mirror is gonna come down and I'm gonna install the shelf above there. I should have really done that prior to popping the desk, but I just kinda wanted to get a sense of space and if it worked, and it does, so this is gonna be my new little desk area. Now, I know I said I was getting rid of these drawers, however, when it came to um, actually popping these baskets on the shelving unit, it just didn't really work. Like, it just felt a bit clunky. It didn't really look the best. So I actually tried the drawers in this corner and it fits, it fits perfectly. This is kind of like a getting ready area now. So I've got all of my fragrances that I've gone through, filtered through the ones that I wear every single day. I know it's still a lot of fragrances, but I wear a lot of fragrance. This is hair products again. I know it's a lot, but as I've said, I do get sent quite a lot to try out and test. So I'm, yeah, I'm glad I'm not getting rid of the drawers because now that I've sorted out the top drawer, this is actually now for clothing. It's primarily just a clothing drawer, which is very, very good. Maggie gives the new rug a seal of approval. <laughs> How's that kid? You like it? Good girl. I honestly am loving the way this is going. Obviously, ideally, we wouldn't have a brown carpet. You know, we're working with what we got. We're not in this flat much longer. But things like this just go so well with any style of property, especially if you've got hardwood floor or something similar. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think it all just ties together perfectly. Okay, so the shelf has gone and I've just filled in, you can see where the holes were. Um, that needs to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours. So I don't think I'm gonna put the pictures up. I'm just gonna let it dry, sand it, and then paint over it, just white. This is literally just white, as all of our apartment is white. <laughs> to be honest, we did need to paint anywhere um, just to do some touch-ups, just like general maintenance where Maggie's ran through and kind of like scuffed and marked and that kind of thing. And obviously, as you remember, um, where we had the picture shelf here as well, it's kind of, you know, just needs sand. And Cesara's going to grab some sandpaper, and um, she's just nipped out to run some errands, so I'm going to be able to sand this down, and then um, paint over it all white so it can look nice and bright and fresh again. So I've just been having a little play around with some of the artwork, and I think I quite like this configuration. Maybe not the top part, that might change slightly, but I'm really enjoying this kind of layout. So all of this is just artwork, and and pieces that I've found from charity shops, antiques markets, and this is from Etsy. Excuse the sticker on my hand. <laughs> um, so yeah, all of this, I might not go as tall, but essentially it's gonna go above the unit to create like a nice space here. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice. And in my moment of thinking out loud, I thought, why don't we use 
the unit that it was just in my bedroom near my office in the bathroom. The black and white kind of works. We really aren't a fan of this bathroom, never have been. This mirror has kind of been like drilled to the wall, so we used to have a unit right in front of it and it wasn't a lovely unit, it was all we could afford at the time. So um, yeah, we've kind of fashioned a bathroom unit out of the office unit. <laughs> Multifunctional, that's why I love Ikea. Um, so we've just got like a full plant in here. Some like bath things are, it's got like a nice candle, some plants. This basket is for my products. That's for Zara's, and then this is like communal stuff underneath that we just use for like bath and stuff, and these are clean towels, so yeah. Very happy with that. One less thing to either go to recycling or try and rehome, so very happy. Right, I think I'm gonna wrap this video. It's been an intense like 24 hours. We've like, we've done a lot, a little bit a lot, if that makes sense, nothing massive, nothing drastic, but just made everything feel like it works better. And this, this is gonna be a work in progress. I cannot wait to put this all on the wall and style this. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are feeling inspired to organize your home, let me know in the comments what you're tackling. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Lots of love, take care, bye for now.